this video I'm going to do some leather work. I said before that sometimes I, I might do some leather work and that's what I'm going to start on today. I'm going to start making a holster, pistol holster. It's going to be for a nine mil, a high point nine millimeter. Uh, no, there's, it's hard to find. You go looking around trying to find a holster for a high point. It's it's hard to find any of them. Find any that'll fit it just right. So that's what I'm going to make today. Is make a leather holster for a high point nine. The thing I'll start off, start out doing is I've got to have a blank. I mean, I, when you go to form that holster for the pistol, you had to soak the leather up, and I, I just, I don't want to get the pistol all wet. I could wrap it up in plastic and form it that way, but I, I just don't like taking the chance of getting all the moisture inside, so. All right, so now I've got the rough shape of it. I've got the rough shape of it cut out. I'm going to start taking it down. I need to shape this up to get it real close to the shape of the pistol. I'm going to start taking some of this wood off of it. See how close I am here. I'm pretty close. Okay, so I've got this sanded down. I ain't made it the prettiest thing, but like I said, it's just a blank. And I've got it. I've got it at the right shape. Now I want to make sure that I've got it at the right thickness. And I've I've already used this on the on the original and so I've got it set for how wide it needs to be so I'm just going to run it up through there I actually want this to be a little bit just a little bit smaller just just like a not even a sixteenth but you know like a thousand feet I want this to be a little loose on it I've got my leather out here, but I'm going to go ahead and start getting, I don't have no pattern, so I'm going to make it. I'm just going to trace around this pistol. I'm going to hold out a little bit away from it, from my dummy here. I'm going to slide it up there and hold that. Now, I want to slide that over a little bit. That has some room to go when I do my stitching over here. And over here, I'm just going to have to eyeball it. Cut them out a little bit. And I've got this on the back side of my leather. That way, my drawing, that don't leave no ink on the, on the slick side. I want to make sure when I make these ears for the belt loops that I've got enough for an inch and a half belt. here. Start making my little tab.
inch and a half. The most you built are inch and a half wide. Now, I'm going to start making that one come around. <coughs> now, I'm going to start cutting this out. So now, I've got that cut out. I'm going to leave it flipped over upside down. We'll bring it over here to where I've real close to where I've cut that out. And I'm gonna make my line, trace it down. Then I'm gonna cut across the bottom. But now I can't just I can't cut around and just trace the whole thing. Because it has to be a little bit bigger so that it'll actually be enough for I can form it over this. Whenever I wet it, it it's going to have a little be a little bow in it. That way it's not too tight. So I slide it over. Pro not quite an inch. That's probably about three quarters of an inch. Almost, almost an inch. I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. I'll go three quarters of an inch. I ain't going to go quite an inch. That gives it enough room to stretch without, without tearing everything. And now I'll trace it around this end. Now, I had to put the pistol over here to get the rest of it. Because I want it to come up at an angle. So I'll make me a mark right here. See what that's looking like. It'll be halfway up this come down just a little not too much I take my old ruler here yard stick make me a line and I'm make another line And I'll cut that out. Now I've got both of them cut out. And you can see that's just a little bit wider. That way. And let's see that should be should make it form up really good without stretching the leather too much. And I'll take and run the edges here, I'll clean that up, smooth them out a little bit, make them look a lot better. And then I, I might go ahead and do a little leather tooling on this. So I'll take this uh I'll take this little finger fi fingernail file looking thing. It's a little spongy. And I'll just start working the ends of it. Sanding on it. Smoothing them off. You can see it's starting to round it off a little bit, smooth it out. Okay, so I've got me a pattern here. 
I've clipped it onto this to the front piece of leather, leather that's going on the holster. And I'll clamp it again over here. Now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just dampen this up with a little bit of cold water just so that uh, it'll leave the marks in here. So Now I'm going to go ahead and just flip that over. And that's just a little damp piece of just a damp sponge. What that does is it'll That'll help make the impression in the leather. But I don't want to get it so wet that the this paper sticks to it. I clamp that up. And I'll get my ink pen. And I'll just start tracing around all this. got all that traced out. You can see, dampening it up a little bit, chasing it out with a pen, it'll leave the little indentions of your pattern on here. Now all I gotta do is take my swivel knife and go around it, start doing the tooling. So one thing I've never had anybody ask me is, what is the smallest knife you ever made? That is the smallest knife I ever made. And I did forge that one out. I didn't just grind it down. I forged it out and it is a knife to go in my swivel knife. I ain't going to use this one on this pattern today though. I want to use this little bit wider blade. I didn't make this and it came with it. Now take this swivel knife and I'll just start going over what I have uh, traced out on here. You know, I might have to go back to my knife. Okay, so I ended up changing the knife blades out, putting mine back on it. I've got that all cut out. Now I'm ready to start tooling on it. When it's got too damp or too dry, I may gotta wet it back up a little bit. do that. I'll just go around doing that through the whole thing. Okay, so now I've got the leather tooling part done. And now I'm going to get ready to to scroll the sides of it where the stitching is going to go. i got this little tool that makes a groove. Go down the side of it and make a groove to show where the stitching needs to be. Just taking Go right down through there. You see, it makes a groove in it. I'll do the other side. And I wanted to have a double stitch, so I'm going to adjust it and do make another one. Now I'm ready to punch my holes in it. 
Okay, I've got my two pieces put together here, and on the side that's got the that's not straight, I'm gonna start with it first. I'm gonna punch these holes because this is gonna be hand stitched. I'm gonna punch it with these. And I'll start. I'll do the inside line first. And I've got me another piece of leather sitting under it They're for protection. To protect this and so it don't go into that wood. But I have the first row of holes punched. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this in together. Now start the other side. Okay, so now I've got that both sides sewed up and uh now, it's, now I'm ready to go and uh, form it. I'll go soak this in some hot water and I'll be right back. Alright, so now I've got that soaked in some hot water. So I'm just going to work it up on here. I'll work it around. Get that thing to take the little shapes there. And that's it. That's why I use my dummy pistol. That's why I made that so that I could form that holster. I'll let that set and dry. Set, I'll let it stay in there till it dries. Then I'll come back and I'll cut out the belt loops. Both sides here. And then I'll stain it. Okay, so I've got the holster done. Got it dyed. Sealed up. Went ahead and put a little stitching around the belt loops here to help to help uh, stiffen, make them stronger, you know, so they don't wear out. And now, I'll there it is.